Hey guys, let's get more news about SAN Francisco 49ers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. RGII urges commanders to trade for Super Bowl WR. The Washington Commanders are getting another chance to trade for Brandon Ayak, and it's a chance former NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year Robert Griffin III has urged his old team not to waste. Ayak asked the San Francisco 49ers for a trade on Tuesday, July 16, per NFL Network's Mike Garafalo, who revealed that, despite a recent meeting, the Niners haven't been willing to engage in negotiations since May so Ayak has respectfully asked out. Shortly after the trade request was made official, ex-Washington quarterback RGII took to X to post his endorsement of a possible deal. Griffin believes acquiring Ayuk would be in the best interests of 2024 NFL Draft No. 2 pick Jaden Daniels, who's charged with being the franchise QB one the commanders need. Griffin once faced the same responsibility, and as he put it, giving Jaden Daniels Terry McLaurin, Brandon Ayuk, Jahan Dotson, Luke McCaffrey, Brian Robinson Jr., Austin Eckler, and Zach Ertz would feed families in D.C. Trading for Ayak is an idea that just won't go away for the commanders this offseason. The player is open to a move thanks to his history with Daniels, and the team has even talked to the 49ers previously. Convincing the Niners to strike a deal won't be easy. Not when last season's Super Bowl runners-up apparently remained determined to keep Ayak in the fold. Ayak to the commanders seems like a logical fit. Especially given his time playing alongside Daniels at Arizona State in 2019. Ayak hasn't been shy about talking up a reunion, but the 49ers don't have to give the player what he wants. In fact, ESPN's Adam Schefter reported other teams that have reached out and spoken to San Francisco have been told that the 49ers have no intention of trading disgruntled W.R. Brandon Ayuk. Schefter also pointed out how history suggests the 49ers will hold firm. In the past, the 49ers have had players such as Debo Samuel and Robbie Gould also request trades before reaching deals with both players. The 49ers intend to keep Brandon Ayuk not trade him. Maybe the 49ers won't budge, but what's for sure is rumors about a trade involving Ayak and the commanders aren't going away anytime soon. The possibility ought to at least stay on the table because adding Ayak to an already intriguing collection of skill players would equip Daniels with one of the more dynamic supporting casts in the NFL. Washington traded away the farm to make RG3 the second player drafted in 2012, but the franchise also surrounded him with ample talent. Including wide receivers Pierre Garçon, Santana Moss and Josh Morgan, along with running back Alfred Morris and tight end Fred Davis. Daniels will be surrounded by an arguably stronger group. His supporting cast is home to wideouts Terry McLaurin and Jahan Dotson, along with running backs Austin Eckler and Brian Robinson Jr., as well as tight end Zach Ertz. Adding Ayak to the mix would turn a deep group into a loaded set of versatile and potentially explosive playmakers. Perhaps that's why the commanders asked the 49ers about a trade earlier this offseason, but ultimately opted not to do a deal, according to Schefter, hat tip George Carmi of Full Press NFL. Having $36,216,567 worth of space under the salary cap, per Spotrack.com, at least gives the commanders the luxury of revisiting the idea. Doing so will make sense if Ayak can force some movement from the 49ers. Landing a QB-friendly target Daniels knows well would give the rookie the best chance to quickly meet lofty expectations. San Francisco 49ers reveal troubling update about rookie W.R. Ricky Pearsall Ahade of training camp. The San Francisco 49ers are entering 2024 with Super Bowl aspirations yet again, and with Brock Purdy playing on the final year of his rookie deal, they have been able to keep one of the most talented rosters in the NFL intact so far. That will most likely change in a major way after this season when they have to give Purdy a major payday, so in April's NFL draft, 
It wasn't surprising to see GM John Lynch select a WR in the first round, knowing that it will be almost impossible to keep both Brandon Ayuk and Debo Samuel on the roster after the 2024 campaign. When the 49ers drafted Florida WR Ricky Pearsall at number 31 overall, the rumblings grew about the future of wide receivers Debo Samuel and, in particular, Brandon Ayuk, who is in the middle of a contract dispute as he enters the final year of his rookie contract. At least early on, there is room for all three, plus Jawan Jennings, who caught a touchdown pass in Super Bowl 58. Pearsall had a strong week down in Mobile, Alabama, at the Senior Bowl, beginning his trajectory towards the first round. He may not make a huge impact early on, but expect to hear his name a few times as a rookie, particularly on special teams. If Ayuk or Samuel move on, however, then the door will really open for the former Gator. Pearsall has been exactly as advertised, said Nick Wagoner of ESPN after 49ers minicamp. The Niners have used him at multiple receiver positions in the offense and as a punt returner, which is probably his best ticket to touching the ball early in his rookie year. The team wants Pearsall to be able to step in anywhere in case of injury, and he so far has proved plenty versatile, according to coach Kyle Shanahan. Pearsall's debut at training camp will have to wait. When rookies reported to training camp on Tuesday, the 49ers placed the first-year wide receiver on the non-football injury list. It's unclear exactly what kind of injury the rookie is dealing with, but this is obviously a concerning update for San Francisco 49ers fans ahead of training camp. But first, the team needs him healthy. 49ers teammate reacts to news of Brandon Ayuk trade request during live interview. San Francisco 49ers defensive back Diamador Lenore was about to make an appearance on the Rich Eisen show on Tuesday when significant breaking news about one of his teammates emerged. NFL Network's Mike Garafalo reported around 1 p.m. Eastern Time that All-Pro receiver Brandon Ayuk has requested a trade from the 49ers due to stalled contract extension talks. About 30 seconds later, Lenore was live on the air. Oh no, this can't be true, Lenore said. Lenore and Ayuk have been teammates since the defensive back was selected by San Francisco in the fifth round of the 2021 NFL Draft. The two squared off several times in college as well, with Lenore starting for Oregon and Ayuk at Arizona State in the Pac-12. Ayuk has been the 49ers' leading receiver the past two seasons. He caught 75 passes for 1,342 receiving yards, with seven touchdowns in 16 games last year. He's extremely important to our offense, Lenore said. The stuff he can do, the amount of targets he had and the production is second to none. Hearing that news, of the trade request, is kind of crazy. The 49ers have been through similar situations in recent years. In 2022, star receiver Debo Samuel requested a trade in April before agreeing to a contract extension in July. Last year, star pass rusher Nick Boza held out of training camp until signing a record $170 million extension in September. As for Lenore's message for Ayuk? We love you, bro, Lenore said. We got to get it right. Hopefully, nothing serious happens. Just stay ready and let's go win that, super, bowl. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Brandon AIYUK? Leave your opinion in the comments.